Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve this problem divisible sum pairs in Python programming language. We have given an array of integers in this problem and what we have to do is we have to find such pairs which are divisible by this value k and the addition of these elements should be done in this way that is error of i plus error of j in but the condition is i should be less than j so the first element should have a lesser index and the second element should have a bigger index than, than the first one and we have to find how many pairs are there and we have to return uh, how many pairs are satisfying these criteria. so if you consider this example 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are six elements in our array and there are three pairs which are satisfying this criteria that is this one and four having addition of five and is it, it is divisible by five and this two and three also satisfying this condition that is i is less than j and it is divisible by 5 and this third that is 4 plus 6 as addition is 10 index is also first in element is having index lesser than the second and it is divisible by 5 so we'll directly jump to the function here so what we have to do is we have to take one count variable that is count initialize with 0 and then we'll run a for loop till range of n as n indicates the number of elements in array and in that we'll run one more for loop for the second element starting with i plus 1 and it will also run till n and what this is going to do is for each element we are going to check for each next consecutive elements if that is satisfying the condition so what we, we have to do is we have to check if err er of i plus er of j divided by k that is mod of k is equal to equal to zero so if this is satisfying the condition what we have to do is increment the count by one and in the end we just have to return this count so this is the function what we have to write if you run this you will see that first test case has passed we'll submit this code so if you see all the test cases are passing with this code so this code you can use to solve your problem thank you for watching